Hey, SGT family. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mike Simafanti, and I'm the director of the Center Youth Ministry. Today, I wanna to share with you something the Lord has been working in me. This has had a very obvious impact in my daily life, and that something is humility. I know, I know, it's pretty ironic to hear a guy say, let me teach you about humility, but this is something I've yet to master, but by God's grace, I'm working towards. I wanna read a passage of scripture that I think is a beautiful illustration of this characteristic. In John 13, it says, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going back to God, rose from supper. Here we see Jesus fully aware of his power and authority over all things, gets up and stands up after having a meal with his disciples. And this is what he does. It says, he laid aside his outer garments and taking a towel, tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was wrapped around him. I love this picture, how Jesus, being completely aware of his authority, takes the moment to show the disciples what true power is. And while I would have loved for him to call down fire or heal another sick person, he simply kneels down, grabs the feet of his disciples, the dirtiest part of their body, and washes them with his hands. The thing that's so interesting to me about this passage is that Jesus didn't just do this for Peter, who's included in the dialogue. He did this for all 12 of his disciples, even for the one who was about to betray him, Judas Iscariot. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really good at loving those who love me and treat me well. And while that's a form of humility, it's not complete unless I also learn how to love those who are against me. As Christ followers, true power and authority is not complete until we learn how to love those who are against us. I know we all have people in our life that we can think of, whether at work, school, neighbors, or dare I say it, even family. And these people were sometimes in conflict with. But my encouragement to you, SGT family, is to show your authority as our master showed his authority and to love them well. Ask the Holy Spirit today how he would want you to show the love of God to them. Be blessed and have a great day.